Hi friends, happy Friday. Hey lovely subbies, how are you guys doing on this wonderful, wet, and blustery, well it's not really blustery outside, it's cool, but it's wet and rainy, and it's cold. <laughs> Actually, I was feeling a little warm today, um, but, um, I don't know, my, I'm, sometimes I'm warm, sometimes I'm super cold, but let me tell you, I love the cold. I'm sorry that some places are getting this crazy storm like crazy and people are freezing. Ugh, it never needs to be that cold. Um, so hopefully this, I don't know, this winter is gonna let up a little bit and it's gonna just be a normal, breezy, sunny kind of day. <laughs> I personally love overcast. I love when it's cold. Um, I like the rain. I don't love a ton of rain, but it is, you know, one of my favorites. So what do you guys have going for you this weekend? I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. I think I want to try to go to the Disney store. I want to try to go to Target. I need to get um, shaving razors. Ugh. Wouldn't you wish in a perfect world we didn't have to shave? Fellas, ladies. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like shaving and I don't like waxing. I don't like either one. But I don't like hair on my face. I don't know. I thought about having that stuff done where you get the electrolysis and it like stops your hair from growing but then I'm afraid that I might do something freaky I don't know like my eyebrows start growing more and then I have super huge long eyebrow hairs that I could put in hair ties and braid that'd be so freaky I don't know anyway so yeah I want to get to Target to the Disney store but it's supposed to storm all weekend and I don't know what I'm go if I'm gonna go out in it or not but hopefully it doesn't storm too bad. It's just a little light drizzle out there. Although the rain does serve a good purpose. I like when it cleans out the sky and then the sky looks really, really nice after like a storm passes. It's really, really pretty. <sighs> so I don't know what I'm going to do this weekend. But I definitely want to hit those two places. And then I hear that friends and family 25% off is going to be at the Disney store starting February 14th all the way to the 18th. So that's super exciting. I'm really, really excited about that. So hopefully when I go uh, this weekend, if I make it to the Disney store, I have not been in forever. I will actually see for certain if they are doing that or if it's just a rumor. Because I love when they do friends and family. Um... Oh, look at this cute little thing I found at Target. I don't know if I showed you guys this stuff, but this sweet little unicorn banner with sparkly gold stars. And look, the unicorns have like yarn tails. How cute is that? I found this in their like dollar section. It's three bucks. And I said, this would make a cute, de um, cute decoration. I almost said cute direction. <laughs> cute decoration for the doll room. I just got to get up there and stick it up over up here. I think I'm going to put it up there. Um, cause it looks really, really cute and I love it. It's really adorable. Like I said, I just got to get up there to hang it up, but it does look pretty, pretty cool. The only thing I do not love, I cut it open to sneak a peek and it is not double-sided. I was hoping the, like, the ponies, the unicorns would be double-sided and the stars would be. No, nope, they're not double-sided. But for three bucks, it is really, really cute. And I love it. Um, let's see. What else do I have to talk to you guys? Oh, my grandma dolls are finally put together. Now, the only thing I need now is to get some grandpa dolls. So here is my Maggie Smith grandma. I changed her outfit. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to keep her in this. It looks a little too youthful, but then I don't want, like, I don't know. I want my grandmas to be different. So see, we have this grandma here. She has her slingbacks on. You know, she's kind of cute and dainty. And then Maggie Smith grandma, she's a little bit more, I don't know. I like her boots. I like her boots and her jeans. She's cute. I love her. But now I have to find some grandpa dolls. And let me tell you, you guys, it is so hard to find um, older kin dolls. They are so expensive. Who would have thought, like, grandpa kin dolls would be expensive? I found the Hart family kin, uh, the grandpa, on uh, eBay. Super, super expensive. And then I found the one that came out with the... Uh, Oh, when Midge and Ryan had their family, remember, and Midge had the pregnant belly. 
um, I found him and he's like super expensive. I'm like, folks, I just need two grandpa dolls for my grandmas. I thought about making my grandmas widows, but I didn't want to make my stories that sad. Um, and they would look really, really cute with, you know, their grandpas. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Hopefully, if I go thrifting or I don't know, something's bound to turn up. Because let me tell you, I do not want to pay a $35 for a naked Grandpa Ken doll. I just don't. It's outrageous. It's crazy. Um, just for me, don't be offended. If you guys are willing to pay $35 for a naked Ken doll, go ahead. Do you, boo? But um, I don't know. That's a little too much for me. It just, I don't know, a naked Ken with no accessories that I have to find something to wear and then I have to clean him up. It's hard finding grandparents clothes because, you know, I don't want my grandparents to look like they're dressing up in the 1800s. I mean, I don't, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Like my great, great grandma, like my great, great, like my great grandma and my great, great grandma. Yes, I knew her. Um, they always used to wear dresses and it was kind of cute, but it was kind of like, mm, no. And then my other grandma, she was like kind of funky, fresh and young, not too young, not one of them grandmas that's like 80 and she's trying to be 21. No, she was like, you know, just a normal funky grandma who liked to wear jeans and boots and dresses and shorts. She liked to mix it all up. Um, so I don't know. I'm trying to do that, but they are cute, right? You guys, I mean, they are sweet. I like that they're both different, but they're friends. This is going to be uh, my mom uh, from my Barbie family's mom's mom. And then this is the Ken. Maggie's going to be my Ken doll's um, mom. So they'll work out. <sighs> and I think that's it. The doll room's still getting fixed. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still trying to fix it up. Like I said, trying to hang up decorations and stuff. But I'm... I don't know. By the time I find time to do it, I'm too pooped out and then I don't want to do it, which is really, really bad because I love it when it looks good in here. And plus, I want to do my room tour and I want to share stuff with you guys and I want to do more um, shows on my cases and stuff and my collections instead of just doing reviews. And then I want to show you guys what's going on with the dream house, which is nothing right now. It's a mess. I'm trying to get it all switched and organized and fixed stuff around. You know, I love my dream house. It is amazing. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, if I'm rattling on in this video, but this video is just like a random show of just me talking about random stuff like razors and <laughs> um, Barbie doll stuff. But anyway, it's it's like out of control. And I love it. And the only thing I don't love about it is the kitchen is so small. So I was thinking about popping the kitchen out and then making something else there and then adding on a kitchen. But then, I don't know. It's just a lot. It's a lot. And then I don't want to ruin it because I'm like, if I take the kitchen out, then I'll be messing it up. But that's the only thing about my dream house that I'm not absolutely in love with is that the kitchen is way too small. And then they made the space for the bathroom way too big. Like, I need, I need, my dolls need a bathroom in case they, you know, need a tinkle or stinkle. Uh, but I don't need to make the bathroom that huge because I'm not going to be using it that much. I mean, my dolls don't hang out in the bathroom. So I switched it and made the bathroom space a bedroom. And then I made the, um, the bedroom space, oh, what am I saying? Then I made, yeah, like the bedroom space, the living room space, the bathroom. But it's all crazy right now. So, like, I do want to show you guys different things like that. <sighs> so, I'm trying to get it cleaned up. And hopefully, this weekend, I'll get some of it done because it's all over the place. Oh, and then I found this little cutie patootie in my closet. She was a limited edition Journey Girl that came out before Toys R Us um, said farewell, which was a total bummer. Um... And she didn't have a name. She came in a box with a whole bunch of clothes. So I found her in my closet. She was like thrown in one of my closets way in the back. So I took the clothes off and then I just pulled her out. I think I'm going to change her. She's cute. She's adorbs. She doesn't have a name. Like she didn't come with a name, which I thought was kind of cool because you could have a journey girl where you could name your own. I noticed folks name their dolls or change the names of their dolls anyway. I don't know why I don't. Some of them I do. I just feel bad when a doll has a name and then I change it. I don't know. It's really cuckoo. I shouldn't care. 
So there you guys go. That is it for today's show. Just rambling on kind of day. It's been that kind of day, but it's fun. I'm glad. It's exciting. You know what? I'm alive. I'm super, super grateful. And um, hopefully you guys are doing well. You're not sick. Hopefully you're staying warm. You're not too cold. And like I said, maybe Elsa will realize that the winter's a little bit too cold. Not everybody loves the cold. But I don't know who ticked Queen Elsa off because someone, someone ticked her off. And she's like, you know what? I'm going to make it storm. <laughs> so hopefully she'll calm down and, you know, the weather will go back to being light and fluffy. So there you guys go. I hope you enjoy your weekend. You have a good Friday night. Be safe out there. Love one another. Respect one another. And enjoy this a beautiful gift called life. Have a wonderful Saturday. A magical Saturday. A wonderful Saturday and Sunday. I will not be with you guys this weekend, but I will be back on Magical Monday. For those of you out there that are watching the Super Bowl, have fun. Hope your team wins. Um, I'm not watching it this year because none of the teams I love are involved in it, so it's a no for me. I don't want to sit in front of the TV for 80 hours for two teams I don't really love. But for those of you that are cheering them on, I hope your team wins and it is a fun game for you. Remember to love your family, love your friends, but most importantly, love yourself. Be kind, stay positive, and until we meet again in this fabulous... This video is really about this and that world. You guys have a magical day and I will see you on Magical Monday. Bye-bye, guys.